The VPL XW7000 is a fantastic projector. One of its key features is the picture position lens memory function. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and we'll look at some of the quirks that you might find along the way. So on the screen here, you can see a 16 by nine image or a TV shape image. Um, on a 2.35 to one screen, you can see you've got black bars either side. Now, if you then put movie content on here or a 2.35 to one aspect ratio movie content on, you'll see it's now got bars all the way around. So we change the picture position by using the lens memory function to zoom the picture to fill the entire screen. So now those black bars have disappeared off the top and the bottom of the screen. If you go back to 16 by nine content or TV shape content, you'll see that it now is cropping the top and the bottom of the image off. This isn't ideal. So we want to go back to a different picture position or our original picture position so that we can see the whole of the 16 by nine image with black bars either side of the screen. So let's get down to how we actually set this up. So we're gonna use the focus, zoom and shift buttons on the remote control. And we're going to make the image the full width of our screen. And then we're gonna move the image up a little bit so that those middle dotted green lines are just skimming the top and the bottom of our project screen. Here I'm setting up the blanking so that we're not having the image actually go onto the floor or the ceiling. We're just gonna work that all the way up so we've got the full amount of blanking. And now we're going to save this position into position two. So you go to the screen settings, picture position, I'm gonna choose the second one there. You'll see the blanking's come off, it's not a problem. We just add the blanking again, so we go back in and set that. Right, I'm happy, I'll save that again. Using position two, because we're using that as our 2.35 to one screen position. Now we'll take that blanking off again, so that we can set the 16 by nine position. By doing the 2.35 to one position first, it means that we get the image centered, so we don't have to use any left or right lens shift. And save this, into picture position one, or our 16 by nine position. He's now put the blanking back on. We're gonna turn that off and then save it again. And that's now held. So we're now going to check it by using the position button on the remote control. I'm going to choose that position two. Don't be surprised if it doesn't quite land right. It rarely does first attempt. And in fact, it's turned the blanking off again. So what we'll do is we'll go back in and we'll turn the blanking on and save it again. And now we'll check the 16 by nine position or position one. We 
looks quite good, but we'll double check it by looking at it with the test pattern. So we'll hit a focus shift or zoom button and have a little look. And it's not quite landed right, it's a little bit high. Good thing to do here is push the, uh, the uh, picture all the way down and then bring it back up to the right spot. It kind of saves it relative to where it knows, so giving it a little shift like that each time does help it to hold its position better. We'll do that, give that a save. Remember, position one for the 16 by nine. And then we'll check it again. We'll run the position two for the 2.35. There, the flanking's come on this time. Good. And then we'll have a look with the test pattern, see how close that actually is. So again, hit a shift key, something like that. Bring the test pattern up and it needs shuffling down a little bit done that i'll save that again into position two our 2.35 position and then go back check the 16 by 9. so position custom one check with the test pattern so I'll just hit the shift button again looking better so back to checking our 2.35 position or the custom 2 position so if I want to fill the screen so back into there we hit the shift key just to make sure see how close that is still needs to move down a touch again I'll pull this all the way down and lift it back up again That's good. Now we'll check the 16 by 9 or position 1 again. You can see I'm doing all of this with the lights on. It actually makes it easier to see the edges of the screen if the lights are on in the room. Check that two, one, three, closer but we'll just bring that uh, shift test pattern up again okay it's a couple of clicks out so we'll just click it down a touch and then we'll save it again and then we'll check it We'll go back to position one. Yeah, that one's landing great. And then we'll check position two. Check with the test pattern again. Now oh, that looks far better. Excellent. Always worth checking again. So we'll go back to the 16 by nine position. And we're done. There we are. So that's how you set it up. You can see it's a little bit quirky. It doesn't always land perfectly first time of asking. So what we were doing there is we were going to an extreme point. So 
right to the top of the uh, shift or right to the bottom of the shift and then we're going back to the middle so it's got a relative point to start from and then once it's getting pretty close just a couple of ticks tweak and you see after a, a few goes round doing that it's landing nicely hopefully you found that really useful if you've got any questions pop them in the comment section check out more videos below and support our channel by hitting the like button if you want any of our latest videos, please remember to subscribe and check the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever our new content is released. Please leave any thoughts or questions in the comments section. Thanks for watching.